I know. They don't. Yeah, Austin, they are pretty bored with their life. You already know that. Ugh. Oh, look, Groovy actually has a job. But Groovy, honestly, I'm going to be really 100% honest with you. I'm proud that you have a job. I'm very proud of you. That is very good. I'm very proud of you. Uh, you know, I Southern Sassy, it's, it's, I don't care. It is what it is. Gotta remember, I'm a socialist with a considerate flag that lives in a no-tail motel, remember? Gotta remember that. That has a fake AI wife. I don't have SS. Why would, and even if I did, why would I tell you that? That's none of your business. What's your SS? Or are you talking MOS? Because if you're talking MOS, that's different. But if you're talking SS, which is Social Security, which I'm sure you probably didn't know what that meant, then that's none ya. But I gotta be honest, I'm really proud of Groovy Angel for actually having a job. Uh, I might mod him. We'll see. I might mod Rahu, but we'll see. I don't know yet. I don't really mod a lot of people. That's my problem. I don't like to mod a lot of people. <sighs> I know, Rahu. I know. I know. I've watched you. You're right, he is. Oh, yeah. Dipping, vibing, jiving. Whatever you want to call it. Right? Because, here's the thing. If the haters watch my stuff, that means they're still a fan. Copenhagen Mint. I like the mint, because the mint, Copenhagen Mint in the morning seems to be a lot nicer. Oh, you didn't act like it there for a few minutes. I know you're a big fan. Yeah, you're just a fan to troll. I'm sure you are. Yeah, it's like brushing your teeth in the morning without actually having to do it. <laughs> but it's still a good idea to brush your teeth, though. It is. I'm not going to lie. It, it is a good idea to still brush your teeth. Because if you don't brush your teeth, then yeah, you're going to have problems. I know, Austin. Groovy Angel are pretty good at doing these things, though. It's like somebody else we know that we're not going to say the name. There's a lot of people that like me. They just can't stand the fact that I'm here.
But yes, you still have to brush your teeth, even when you're dipping. It's recommended. It really is. Uh, excuse me. If you don't brush your teeth, you're going to have no teeth at all. Then what? Then you're fucked. You are absolutely fucked. So, what does that tell you? Okay. Sam, I appreciate you being here, but you need to fucking chill with the spamming. I get you are enthused, but chill with the spamming, homie. I get you want to troll, but goddamn, you got to really work on trolling without spamming, my dude. Well, think about it. It, it is true. How would you be able to eat turkey, pumpkin pie, Thanksgiving dinner? You would have to have all that shit pureed. And if any of you don't know what pureed food basically is, it's where you have to have food mixed with water. And it becomes liquidy. And it's not fun. I've seen senior homes where they have that shit. It's no fun. It's no fun at all. Since they have to take out their dentures to drink the pureed stuff. Or have the pureed food. And it sucks. Mods, if you're still in here, you guys are doing a good job. Thank you. Right? But you wouldn't be able to eat it or chew on it it'd just be mixed together with water which is pretty bad miserable but mods you are you guys are doing very good thank you you're good sassy you're good you're not doing anything Spamming really doesn't trigger me. It's just annoying because if that person's spamming and I can't see the other comments, then the other commenters are going to get pissed off at me for missing their chat. So I have to see all the chats and see what's being said so I can catch up with the chat. It's not really triggering, it's just more annoying than anything. How would you like it if somebody came into your live stream and spammed continuously? And then everyone else is trying to comment and they can't see what the fuck they're saying. You know, I I think that would be kind of funny if they created a turkey dip that tastes like a Thanksgiving meal. That would be cool. That would honestly actually be cool. Just thinking about that. Except minus the um, the cranberry sauce. And the cranberry sauce, I wouldn't be able to. Yeah, I'm not a big cranberry sauce kind of guy. But dip tobacco that tastes like a Thanksgiving meal. Ooh. Hmm. There we go. There we go. That would be good. Hell, if you can't have a Thanksgiving meal in, in the hospital, just pack you a turkey meal dip. <laughs> that works. Just don't let the nurse catch you doing it. That's all I gotta say. 
but that would work. As long as the nurses don't catch you, I think you should be okay. Hooks, I really honestly think you're right. They should. I think outlaws should do something like that. Let outlaw know. Yeah, that definitely is something outlaw should do. I don't know how well it would sell, but... I mean, once in a while, like Thanksgiving or something? Yeah, sure. One year turkey and gravy, mashed potatoes and gravy. Something like that. I could see something like that probably being done. Cranberry sauce, another year. Christmas flavored dip. Well, they already have it. They have peppermint, so it's kind of that's really not something I would think is new. But you know what I mean, like eggnog dip or something like that. Eggnog flavored dip tobacco. Ooh, I wonder how that would taste. Can you guys imagine eggnog flavored dip? Would you guys dip that? I don't know if I would. I mean, I kind of like eggnog, but uh, that'd be a little iffy for me on that one. I feel like that's pretty iffy. Well, they have a bourbon dip. Right, I don't know if eggnog and tobacco would work. Oh, damn, you're 262? That's not bad, my dude. Milk flavored dip. Ew. Ew. It sounds really nasty. Uh, yeah, it would have to have like a little bit of hint of eggnog and a little bit of hint of cinnamon to go with it, at least to make it taste decent. At least a decent type eggnog dip. Uh, but I'm, my stomach is gurgling in nauseation thinking about milk flavored dip. Ugh. Okay, but where did you come up with that, dude? Where the hell did you come up with that? They already have winter green dips. My dude, it's already been invented. Grizzly, Stokers, Kayak, Cougar, Timberwolf, Longhorn, they all got winter green, dude. That's already been a thing. You know I hate Longhorn, dude. You know I do not like Longhorn. I do not like Longhorn. I don't know why you keep bringing Longhorn up. Like I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna change my mind about Longhorn. I, I never will. Longhorn will always be the worst. And it will stay the worst. Okay, why, where are you coming up with these things? Well, eggnog, uh, vape, I don't know how that would really taste, my dude. Yeah, KY just coming up with some random shit. Like, I don't know where he's coming up with this shit. Cheese flavored dip? What the hell? KY, what? What? Are you... 
Okay, what? Well, where do you come up with this shit? I I do want to kind of know. A ranch flavored dip. Oh my gosh. Jesus help me. Jesus help me. Ranch flavored dip. That that's called ranch, my dude. That's called dipping sauce for your vegetables. You know, like your celery, your carrots, your broccoli. They can already have that, you know? You goof. All right. Talk to you later.